Hey guys, it's Joe here. So today we're going to be learning how to add awesome explosions and gunshots to your video. Before we start, I'd like to thank Doing It For The Lols for studying the question and asking how to do explosions and gunshots and explosions. A big surprise. If you ever want any questions answered, please email us at our YouTube or at our email or aim our Facebook or MySpace or wherever. Because we are everywhere. And that wasn't creepy at all. Before we start, I'd like to point out that this is technically free um, when it comes to saving, saving money on real explosions. What you're going to need is a decent camera to record with, of course, and you're going to need a decent video aim software. Yeah, I edit in Final Cut Express, and I love that program with a fiery passion. But you can use anything, Sony Vegas, um, After Effects, they work just as well. Alright, so first things first, we're going to go to detonationfilms.com. This is where I get all my explosions from. I love these guys. They have everything from explosions to rain to gunshots, um, exploding heads, uh, exploding cop cars, exploding hum hummers, uh, everything you need. If you follow the first link in the side uh, sidebar, you're going to find the very first uh, explosion on here, Blast 04. Um, we use this in the opening scene, gunshots and explosions, and we're going to be showing you how to do that. So let this download. Alrighty, once this downloads, we'll be going. We'll go over to our go to Finder. Your search for Blast 04A, and that sh it should be sitting right here. We're gonna drag this right over to our browser. So let's have a look at uh, the first opening scene. All right, the explosion. So go double come over browser, double click Blast 04A, press play. It'll just be the raw explosion file. Um, many people are confused by this. They don't realize that this is the actual, this is the real, the real thing. Uh, it's not a plugin. Yeah, you really do it yourself in this in this thing. Uh, select both sides. Select both sides of it. You're gonna drag it over to your timeline, right above your video. Now, a way I think of Final Cut is in layers. Obviously, Blast 04 is above the movie sequence, so. The way that works is obviously whatever's on top is the first is front of the video. Pretty simple concept. All right. So obviously we have this black background in the way, and we uh, see dining is pretty face. We're gonna go modify, composite mode, screen. Voila, gone, easy, done. Um, now another way to do this, and you might want to use this if your explosion file happens to have a green background or a blue background. You're gonna go to effects, and this is kind of like um. You use a chroma key copier, and that's a great way to think of this. Actually, is when on a green screen you cl click the background and get rid of it, and all you have left left is the guy sitting there. In this case, it's getting rid of the getting rid of the background, and all you have left is the explosion. Um, so you can do it this way, but it doesn't look as good. You get the black border around it, and it's just kind of bad looking. So we're not gonna you know use that. <laughs> Modify composite mode screen. That's all we use. Really easy. All right. Now, obviously, this is really small and won't really hurt Danny. Um, because we want it to hurt Danny, we're going to double click it, go to motion. Uh, and this is my, one of my favorite tools in the Final Cut series. Pull that right there. Um, so, obviously, we use scale. You want to make it bigger or smaller according to where you are. Um, and we're going to use, sen use sensor to move it around so you know where you want to position it for your explosion. In rare cases, you're going to want to um, rotate it from the side if you need to have like a building explode from the side. Whatever you need, you really got to spend a lot of time playing around with this to get your looking right. So let's go for a little more. I think we can make it a little bigger for Danny. Yeah. You know, we all know Danny likes big explosions. So... All right, let's go through and render this and see how it looks. Uh, please note that with all with anything in life, in my opinion, um, learning how to do it is definitely trial and error. So don't take my um, instructions word for word. Spend plenty of time really sitting down, playing around with it, messing around. Don't just go and shoot your video. Really take test footage and play with explosions beforehand and then shoot your final video. Perfect. Um... 
remember also when you're filming, you need to hold the camera perfectly still. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of time playing with motion, moving it all, moving it all around. Before I go, I'm going to also explain how to do a, a gunshot. Let's, come, let's uh, come over to our clip of Danny shooting Kyle. So obviously, it's kind of empty in here. So follow Sam Steps before. You're going to look at the website. Um, I have this, uh, this link included also for this particular explosion or gunshot in this case. But uh, I'm going to use... So obviously it starts like that. Just a whole bunch of random gunshots. You should definitely change it around as we're editing and uh, make it and find the exact ones you want. I'm gonna use this portion of it right here. And we're gonna, so take your, take your selection, drag it over, put it right on top of Danny. Okay. Now obviously it's missing again. So we're gonna highlight, modify, Composite mode, screen. Awesome. And obviously, uh, we need to time this up better. So when Danny, so we got to mix the kick. Wait, when it flies up, you need to go off some time as the explosion. So find where, the expo where your explosion starts in, starts in frames. Highlight it. Put a tab on there. Pull it on over. Match it up with the other one. So these two are matching same time and everything. Now we'll see we need to move this. And then now the... Bullets are even more detailed editing, so we're going to go back here to motion. Center. Gonna pull her on over. Now it looks pretty good, but we're going to rotate it a little so it's more appropriate to where he is shooting. Suck her right on there. A little big for Danny. We all know Danny doesn't have a very big gun, so we're going to give him a little explosion. And... Pretty much end of it. I, uh, the smoke. You, obviously, you can see the smoke coming up. So be careful with that too. Is if you might you might flip uh, flip something upside down, and then your smoke would be going downwards. I had that happen a few times to me. So definitely make sure you you know you pay attention to what you're doing as you're doing it. Um, let's go through and render that. Do 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 rendering and do 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 rendering do do do. Okay, so lucky. Boom. Real fast. <laughs> play, it, play it one more time for you. Boom. Yeah. Obviously, when I edited this, I had a whole bunch of extra gunshots going after for every single one Danny would do. You'd obviously put them in each later, layer above and uh, tell you have all the ones you need. Um, detonation, I, like I said, I get all these from detonationfilms.com. Um, definitely spend plenty of time playing around for this program. Tell you really have what you, what you're looking for and you can, you know, get it right. And don't take everything I say word for word. Definitely, uh, play around with it and make sure you really have what you, what you're looking for. Trial and error. It's really the best way to learn how to do anything, in my opinion, especially when editing videos. That's what I used and I hope you use it too. This has been a drill production, a bound tutorial, episode 1, adding explosions, gunshots to your videos. Make sure to subscribe and check in regularly for new videos. And email us if you'd like to see any video tutorial on how to do any of the, the editing we do in our videos. So thanks for watching, and good luck with your video. When you finish it, send it in for us, let us know how it went. Any advice on what we what you, what you did and what we should do differently, or just your own experiences, and yeah. Thanks again. Bye-bye.